This is West Hollywood. Like in so many communities, its residents are faced with crime, homelessness, and healthcare problems such as AIDS. But a few years ago, the citizens of West Hollywood decided to fight back by adopting council manager government. One of the things we're doing is up here, there'll be an infill project that'll generate revenue to help us pay for the thing and, and also add uh, some vitality. Leesburg, Virginia, a quiet, historic town in danger of being overrun by the rapidly expanding suburbs of Washington, D.C. Yet the people of this town are able to deal with these problems because they've had council manager government for nearly 30 years. Charlottesville, Virginia, like so many other communities, has residents who need low-income housing. Thanks to council manager government, the needs of all citizens, rich and poor, are being met. Olympia, Washington, home of the state capitol. Until 1985, the city government was slow to respond to people's needs. Then citizens voted in council manager government. People in this community really care a lot about the community and are willing to get out and work to accomplish things. Council manager government has grown with America. By the turn of the century, crime and corruption had become rampant. In many cities, mayors had too much power and too little oversight. In response, reformers searched for a form of government that matched the efficiency and leadership of corporate models. In 1912, the first council manager government was adopted, and it worked. Today, citizens in nearly 3,000 communities enjoy the benefits of council manager government. Professional city manager is an absolute plus. I'm all in, all in favor of it. I think that a city government and a city is a business, and you need to run it as a business to be um, cost-effective and to be efficient. Under the council manager plan, the voters elect a council. The mayor is a member of the council. Every council member has a full and equal vote in setting policy. The council appoints a professional, non-political manager to run the city thus insulating city services from politics. The manager takes policy direction from the council, which is elected by the people. Unhindered by political ties, the manager hires a staff based on qualifications. The city manager then is responsible to the mayor and council. The mayor and council are accountable to the people. And if the citizens have a problem with the city manager, they have recourse through the elective process with the mayor and council. The people that do the day-to-day -day operations of the community are people that are hired solely on the basis of their qualifications and their skill and their abilities, not on any political connection or any return for favors. In 1984, citizens here faced a rising crime rate and other social problems. To take control of the situation, residents formed a new city, West Hollywood, and chose council manager government. When the city incorporated, they gave a budget to where we were able to assign more individuals to the station. The first year that we were incorporated here, Crime stats went down 35% and an additional 10% to that the following year. We believe we're being very successful. What color hair did he have? Brown, Under brown council hair. manager government, citizens and local officials take on the tough issues, whether it's preventing crime or feeding the homeless. In West Hollywood, the city council voted to start this food program. Today, it is self-sufficient, supported by donations and run by the community. We have approximately about 150 sandwiches that are distributed here daily 
And these sandwiches are prepared here all by voluntary help. This city has a, one of the most significant commitments to social service programs of any community that I'm aware of. We provide over $2 million in funding for services that run from senior citizen nutrition programs, senior citizen housing programs, to some unconventional services. We have uh, support programs for people with AIDS. We have counseling programs for people with AIDS. We also have an extensive commitment to the homeless. We have a homeless program which is doing outreach to the people that are homeless in the city. We also have decided to establish a warming center that will be funded through the city and any other grants and creative ways that we can come up with the funding. We're going to need to put in heating. We've got to rewire the electrical. We have to bring in more plumbing. And then we'll have to construct interior walls.